Do you know, I think gardeners instinctively know it, that the British Isles is really one of the best places to be a gardener. Our maritime climate is very equitable and it allows us to grow an enormous range of plants uh, in our gardens. For hundreds of years we've brought plants back from all over the world as the British influence spread around the globe and we've furnished our gardens with plants from the Himalayas and the rest of Asia, South America and North America and Canada, uh, from Europe and, and Russia and far beyond. And these have furnished our gardens and today we truly have a magnificent collection of plants in, in our, growing in our gardens. And the National Trust owning 200 gardens, has probably what is the largest collection of cultivated plants or garden plants in Europe, if not the world. So we're very proud of that heritage that we've inherited. But therein, I think, lies a challenge because the next generation or the next few generations, certainly this century, is likely to be very different in terms of growing conditions to the centuries that have gone past certainly the centuries in which these great plant hunters and the head gardeners in our gardens were collecting and breeding and selecting plants to bring those gardens to perfection. So what we have in effect is a global encyclopedia of plants, living encyclopedia of plants growing in our gardens for all the world to see and some of those specimens now are horticulturally very significant or botanically very significant Many of them are, are enormously uh, uh, appealing and beautiful specimens to look at. Um, but also there's um, genetic value of this plant material. Some of the plants were first introduced from the wild two, three hundred years ago from habitats around the world which are now threatened or extinct. Over the last three years, the National Trust has been undertaking a massive plant recording project in 80 of our gardens, and we have 200 in total. And we're enormously grateful to Yorkshire Bank and Clydesdale Bank for providing the resources to enable us to do this. We've recorded 100,000 plants that are now safely in our database. And we're using the latest technology, GPS positioning, handheld equipment to plot each specimen in our garden and that information is then downloaded in digital map form into our uh, database and from that we'll be able to determine uh, where important specimens are and which ones need propagating so that we can create a new generation of healthy, young, vigorous plants propagated from the historic originals uh, that will grow on in future generations. So this is a really important project to replenish the collections in our gardens which uh, have been built up over the last few hundred years. There's a key moment in the history of the Trust in looking after its gardens. <laughs>